This video talks about the carrier effect of macrophage. Now, there are two types of immune cells in our body, B cells and T cells. Macrophage is one type of B cell. It is also called an antigen presenting cell or APC. And the reason it's called an antigen presenting cell because it presents the antigen to the T cells. And what exactly is an antigen? An antigen is anything that creates an immune response in our body. More specifically, let's say a virus can be an antigen, a bacteria can be an antigen, or something very innate, for example, maybe glass beads or sand particles. Anything that can create an immune response in our body is called an antigen. Anything that the body recognizes that this is not me, this is something else, is an antigen. Now let's take a visual representation of what I'm talking about. Imagine this is a macrophage, this red outline, a macrophage. Now from the macrophage's body is sticking out an antibody. Now antibody is anything that binds to an antigen. It is kind of the hand of the macrophage that will attach the antigen and bring it closer to the macrophage. Now let's quickly talk about an antibody more specifically. Let's say this is an antibody. I'm sure you're all familiar with the structure of an antibody. Now an antibody has two sections. One is the constant region, which is nearer here, and one is the variable region that's outside. Variable region can be signified with the letter V, and constant region is often signified by the letter C. Now whenever there is an antigen floating around, the antigen will come and bind to the variable region. Now this blue line is the heavy chain and the green line inside is the light chain. Variable region can be present in both the blue line and the green line. So an antigen can come and bind to the variable region of an antibody just like that now this is what's happening here an antigen is binding to the variable region of an antibody as a result the antibody takes it up it goes inside the macrophage now what happens once it's inside the macrophage antigen gets attached to the antibody of the macrophage macrophage then ingests this antigen this creates a phagosome formation. Macrophages digest the immunogen, and then now it's time for the macrophage to present it to the helper T cells. So in this picture, this antigen is now going to be digested inside the phagosome of a macrophage. Imagine this is the phagosome of the macrophage. It's going to get digested, it's going to get passed on to the other side of the macrophage where the MHC class 2 hand is present. Now this is the MHC class 2. Now what exactly is MHC class 2? This is a, a structure present in the macrophage which will present the antigen that it has to the T cells. Imagine this is the T cell. And the T cell has T cell receptor sticking out of here, just like that. It has the T cell receptor st sticking out, which is going to interact with the MHC class 2 of the macrophage. The MHC class 2 is now going to present the antigen the digested antigen onto the T cell receptor of the T cells. Once it's been presented to the T cell receptor of the T cell, now the T cell is activated. Once the T cells get activated, I wrote A for activated. Once the T now once it gets activated, the T cells can go and destroy the antigen that is floating around in our system. But that's not all though. Macrophages also releases IL-1 to recruit more T-cells. 
because in order to present it to a T cell, that will slow up the system. In order to make the system faster, it makes a direct connection with the T cells that it can. But in other words, but in other sense, it also releases IL-2, which goes and recruits more and more T cells that's out in the system. Now, IL-1 is also responsible for inflammation. It is the endogenous pyrogen, meaning it is the one that causes fever. It kind of alerts the whole body that there is a problem going on. So that exactly is the carrier effect of macrophage. What is it again? It is the fact that the macrophage will take up the antigen inside, it will ingest it and form a phagosome. Inside the phagosome, it's going to digest it, and then it's going to present it through the MHC class 2 hand of the macrophage. It's going to present it to the T cell through a hand called the T cell receptor. Once it gets presented to the T cell, which is the big boss, the T cell gets activated. Now the T cell will go and kill all those antigens in our system. And macrophages is going to release more and more IL-2. The IL-2 that is going to be released is going to activate more T cell that is outside, floating around, not knowing that there is a big problem in the body. And that is the carry effect of macrophage.